Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the series on Kaspersky Unified Monitoring and Analysis Platform. This is the 10th entry and we are primarily going to speak about the distributed configuration and distributed deployment of this particular platform. The system that we are working with today will be deployed on four servers. We have kuma.example.local, which is going to act as the Kuma core server, where collectors and correlators will be installed later. So we will have two Kuma storage one example.local storage servers and a Kuma keeper.example.local standalone auxiliary server. I've deliberately selected this configuration to demonstrate a storage cluster topology with three different keepers, two of which are going to be located on the data servers and one is a standalone keeper. The storage will be configured as one shard consisting of two replicas. Similarly, there are several points about an all-in-one installation that needs to be brought front of mind. Running the hostname space minus f command on each of these servers should return the full name of the server, consisting of the server name and at least the first level domain. The second point is all server names must be resolved because servers authenticate to one another with certificates issued by the core server for the full domain name. The third point a Python 3 package must be installed on all of these servers. Next, the point specific to a distributed installation, we have the first point, which is the time on the service must of course be synchronized. And this is, this is pretty much a standard approach moving um, from all of the different solutions. The second point, I'll be starting the installation process from the core server, so I need to be able to authenticate to any server from that one. Therefore, I've generated an SSH key and distributed it across to the other servers. The authentication options are not limited to only using the key. Others are, of course, described in the documentation. Similar to an all-in-one installation, we go ahead and extract the archive and go to the folder that contains the Kuma distribution kit. The installation requires a license file. I have the archive already extracted and the license file which is unpacked and copied to the roles Kuma files directory and the license file must be named license.key. I'm using distributed.inventory for the distributed installation. I've copied it from the templates and removed the suffix. I then went ahead and populated the template in advance in the interest of time. All the file parameters are distributed in the documentation, um, so we'll dwell on the topology of our installation, which is the kuma.example.local, which is specified as our core, the collector and the correlator servers as well. as all of the servers are registered in the DNS. Next up uh, are, of course, the storage servers. We've got Kuma storage onexamplelocal will, which will be used uh, for deploying the first replica of the first shard and starting the first keeper. We've got Kuma storage two, which will be used for the second replica of the first shard and starting as the second keeper. And then finally, we've got the kuma keeper.example.local server, which will not store any data. So both the shard and the replica are zero at the moment, but it will be used for starting the third keeper. Now we are all set. As you can see, we have executed the installation script and specify our inventory file as a parameter. Once the installation is at a certain point, we need to accept the terms of the license agreement. The Kuma installation process will then begin. 
on a server with about two CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM. The installation itself should take about four minutes. Once the installation is completed, let's go to the Kuma web interface. The login and password are described in the documentation as the default parameters. I then go ahead and I switch to the user interface, locale, and go to resources, and finally active services. Let's look at the results. According to the topology, two storage services have been installed on the storage servers and the keeper. The collector services and the correlator have been installed on kuma.example.local. And as usual, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of this particular section for section 10 in the series of Kaspersky Unified Monitoring and Analysis Platform. Thank you as always. Have a great day and bye-bye.